Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Colony Survival. All right, so these hordes are coming in, but we are taking care of them. I wouldn't exactly say easily, but we are taking care of business. Um, I think today I'm going to work on the entrance and do a little bit of um, moving stuff around here, kind of make things a little bit better. Uh, we need, we got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. My number one concern is to, oh boy, I'm going to need a lot more of this grass. I'm going to need a lot more grass, okay? <laughs> I can get some grass. So I can do that myself. It's probably quicker for me to do it myself. Um, so what I need to do is I need to put another level on this so I can have a third level of um, crops. I forget what these crops are called. Well, let's, let's take a look really quick. Food related. So I can get another crop of wheat. So I will have wheat coming in every single day. And I need to move this this thing out of here. All right? I I'm not really sure where I'm going to move it yet. Basically, I want to move this out of here. That stuff, I forget what it is, but I know I need a lot of it. <laughs> I think I think that's barley, which I need for the chickens, okay? And I would like to move this um, bee area over here once this is moved. This is probably going to be on top of the structure I'm standing on right now. Now, a lot of people said, Cage, you can have your farms outside of your base. You know, you, you don't have to have your farms inside your base, so use all this for farmland. No, you can't. Because right now, look at this. My farm guys would be going out there and getting totally wrecked by zombies. So, I mean, I guess I could put, like, defensive people outside. I, I'm not really sure how to handle that. But the thing is, like, th the farmers go to work when the zombies are still coming in. So, not really going to work that well for me. So, all right. First things first, let's go ahead and build this up and let's get a third level up here. And I'm not, I'm not really sure if I'm going to put a fourth level on this. I could put a fourth level on this and make the fourth level barley. But uh, I don't really want a four level high farm. Why? I don't know. I just don't. But, uh, man, I'm going to need a lot of room for barley. That's that's the thing. So let me, uh, let me see what I can figure out here. All right, I got that part of the farm complete. So this right here is a complete, 100% complete um, wheat farm. One day, two day, three days. I, I'm not. I don't have a person to work the top one. But once I do get a person to work the top one, I should have wheat coming in every single day, which would be awesome. All right. So um, another thing I did was I came in here. Um, I went ahead and lined this doorway up, which is where the doorway is going to be. Uh, that's going to lead out into the world, and it's kind of on the side here. And I don't think I mind it that much. It's, I think it's okay there. Um, if worse comes to worse, I can always move everything over to the side, but. Probably won't have to do that. All right, so I'm looking at science here, and I'm going to do the technologist. And the reason I'm going to do the technologist, I want to do the builder, but the builder takes clay, uh, and I don't know how to do clay. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the technologist. Maybe the clay will be there. I don't really know. Probably not, but we'll have to see. So let me go ahead and put a scientist on, if I can find him. All right, scientist. Sci there we go. Okay, so who am I going to take off? Why do I have a tailor? I don't know. I'll take off the tailor and put on the scientist. So there we go. Um, they need the planks, and I have the planks set up, uh, but the, he's not doing them. Is he missing? Oh, he's missing stuff. Beeswax and planks. Well, it's not red, so what's he... Is he missing anything? Maybe he's not. What is he doing? All right, he's doing other things. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to zero out all of them, and then we're going to put these up to nine. I'll leave the adobe alone. Yeah, I'm not really sure where to do clay. I'm thinking it might be in here somewhere. I haven't quite found it yet. But I'll, I'll have to find it because I need to do clay to do the bricks. So, alright, he's doing that. So, Alright, cool. So, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start um, building out here. And what we're going to want is we're going to want a tower on this side and a tower on that side. Okay? Now, we can't put a tower on this side just yet because this, is it. this stuff's in the way. Um, so we'll build the tower on this side first. Uh, the problem is the tower on the towers can't be that big because if they're too big, they won't they won't quite line up right with that. Um, you know what I think I want to do? No, I can't really do that. All right, so this is going to be the edge. So there will be a tower here. So that's one, two, three. I have to kind of decide where they're going to go. So one, two, three. So the tower could be a four by four or a or a three by three. I kind of like the three by three better. Okay. So one, two, three. And that's about as far as I can go because it's going to bump into this structure. So I think a three by three will be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. This will be the edge. I need to get this um this bee thing out of here. Why is nobody working out there? Did I turn off the bee? 
the bee farm bee farmer i hope not be yeah i did turn off the beekeeper yeah we got to get the beekeeper back uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the metalsmith and put in the beekeeper. I will probably get another two people today. Uh, I would like to put one person as a guard and one person as something else. So, um, although my guards are doing pretty good. I also have, um, a, I might have a decent amount of feathers by now. Uh, where are my feathers? Yeah, 115. I don't know if that's a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot. So, I'm going to wait until I get a lot of feathers before I start giving people bows. Uh, but if I give people bows, then I will need, I will need less guards. So, that will be nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and we're actually going to move the bee thing inside to see if we can do it inside. Now, I don't want the bee thing inside, but there's not a lot of room out there. There's just not a lot of real estate, and I'm assuming bees have to... Can you raise bees in a building? That's a good question. I'll bet you there's scientists who raise bees in buildings. Why not? Right? So, maybe we'll just keep the bee thing inside the whole time. I'd really like my bees to be outside. Although, to be fair, they have to be within... They have to be, like... Um, in an area to keep them from flying away, but you usually do that with nets, and I would think it would be better for them to be outside, but for, get it? Be outside? Uh, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Alright, so B thing is food, um, beekeeper, and I think what we'll do is we'll just, um, yeah, I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. Yeah, we'll do it like this. So we'll do this. Alright, so that's too large, so it can only be um, eight spots this way. So, all right, so what we'll do is we'll start it right here, and then we'll go as far as we can. Eight. Oops, I always hit the wrong freaking button. So, eight. And this is going to be a very temporary bee farm. So, yeah. And this, so now what we'll do is we'll take out the other bee farm, and then he'll go to the one I want him to go to. Uh, remove area. And we will pick this up. Well, maybe not. Let's get out of this menu. There we go, and now we got to pick up all these things. I don't really know what these are, but I'm going to pick them all up. Okay, so he should go to the other bee farm. He's unemployed. Do I have a bee... Hold on, do I need Do I need a beekeeper now? or? Uh, yeah, I need a beekeeper. Who's unemployed? Why is someone unemployed? Science? Is the science a problem? Maybe. We'll have to see when they get up who's... Um, Who's unemployed? I really shouldn't have anyone unemployed. Okay, I don't love the idea of a 3x3 three three tower. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here, and we're going to start building our, our base right to the very edge here. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that, and that's going to clear us up, uh, you know. It's going to clear us up to build our towers a little bit farther out, which will be nice. Um, Alright, so we got to bring this over here. And right about here looks pretty good for now. Maybe we can can we expand now? Let's take a look. Oh, we could we could expand this quite a bit, and that would give us more room. Problem is we have this whole area right here to dig out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here. I'm going to set up a construction digger area, and I'm gonna start right here. And we are going to dig this whole. Well, I'm not gonna do it. Someone else is gonna do it. And they're going to dig this whole freaking thing. And we could probably put multiple people on there. Um, yeah, let's put three. And then I'll put people over there if I, if I really want to. Which I kind of do. But what? Can, where, can I pull, where can I pull people off? Berry farmers, no. Uh, guards, no. Construction workers is what we need. We're not going to take wee farmers off. Um, you know what? We'll take the miners off. Um, we'll take the grinder off and that should be everybody okay so they should dig that out pretty quick now the only thing we need to do now is put down a, a chest for them and then we can extend we can expand the farm even farther out this way there you go okay and let's see if we can expand more out this way um i probably won't expand out this way right now because i'm trying to like you know stay somewhat focused but uh, oh, yeah, look at this. We can go all the way over here. Okay. We won't do that today, but we will expand the... We'll at least get ready to expand the other way today. All right. So, I won't expand out that way today. I'm just going to I'm just gonna have them dig this stuff out. All right, cool. So, let's go ahead and build a wall up here. That'll be nice. And kind of build that over like that and like that. And the wall's done. All right. We'll extend this out. Okay. And then we'll go from here... And extend this out. I just want to be able to build during the night in here. 
And I sh oh, man, is that really it? No, that can't be it. <laughs> I didn't think so. Oh, is that beekeeper doing its job? I think he is. I think he is. We should go check him out, though, at some point today. Just to make sure. Alright. And let's do that. And that. And we're good to go. Now we can build during the night. Alright, cool. Yeah, let's go check that beekeeper really quick. And I think at the by the end of this video, I'm going to recruit four more people. So... All right, so yeah, you got no bread. Okay, so the bread maker isn't doing anything because he can't do anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the baker off and put him on the grinder. There you go. And how is this doing? Okay. So you're, you're making stuff. He's making stuff for the science. The, for the science! Um, he's making arrows as well. Is the second thing arrows? I don't know. Do I have 301 arrows? I do. Okay. So we actually have a lot of arrows. We could probably put people on archery. And we still have 115 feathers. I thought ar I thought arrows take feathers. They don't seem to be... I mean, they do, but... Alright. Fair enough. Okay. What are you missing? Oh, yeah. You don't have what you need for that. Okay. I'm going to leave him alone for now. And I'm going to leave him alone. I'll probably put him back on science at some point. And the beekeeper is doing its thing. Beautiful. Yeah, we can have bees inside. Guys, what do you think? Are bees inside too crazy? Is that is that above and beyond the craziness? Or what? Okay, I think we're going to do some of the major, major building in the morning. Okay, we just got to wait for the morning. And then we're going to open up the center area. Close up this area. Um, we've got this tower already planned out. It's going to be a 5x5. Five five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I, I'm not really sure how I'm going to make these towers yet. See, the thing is with this game, the things that look cool are not maybe as effective as you might like them to be. Um, so that's something we do have to look at. I'm also going to change this to make 500 arrows. There we go. So I'd like, because I'm going to put, I'm going to give one guy a bow for sure. What I'm going to do is in the morning, I'm going to, I'm going to hire t four more people. I'm going to put one of them, I'm going to give one of them a bow and let him defend and see if that, that'll be good enough. Um, it should very well be. Okay, so we need to figure out a staircase um, in here. First of all, where would the entrance be? Um, honestly, it could be in the middle or it could be on the side. I kind of like it better on the side. Okay, and then we will start a walkway with wooden blocks. Okay, up like this. All right, I'm building the inside of the tower first just because... All right, that's looking pretty good. How high do I want the first part of it to be? Uh, one, two, three, walkway? Sounds good to me. Do you want a wooden walkway? Yeah, sure. Why not? Sounds good. All right, so then we can build this up three spots. Okay, like so. I don't really have a lot of building materials to work with right now. I mean, I got like Adobe and stuff, but... I don't know. And I got stone, but I don't know how to make clay, so the stone really doesn't help much. Um, like I said, I gotta figure out how to make clay, but one thing at a time. Okay, so we got that. Okay. Uh, you know, I could kind of leave them up there. Yeah, I could. Okay. I'm kind of figuring out how I want to make walk. Yeah, all right, all right. I got an idea. So this is gonna be three high, like so, and then we'll put little wooden walkways. Right? Maybe on the same spot? Yeah, on the same spot. Okay. Alright, so one, two, three, four. And so this is going to be four as well. And then walkway. Alright. Like I said, I'm trying to make this cool, but very, very rarely in these games does cool ma match with functionality. So I'm probably going to lose some functionality by making it cool, but I'm okay with that. Okay. You come through there. And then what I'm thinking is, this will go like this. Okay. And then this will be like this. So they're going to be on the edge there. Not really sure quite how they are going to be on the edge, but we'll work it out. Uh, no. Like this. Okay. And then I'm thinking over here. See, that's already too high. They're not going to really... What I want... This is what I want to do. I want to have them right here with these little blocks like this that that would be dope they ain't gonna be able to hit nothing like that so not on this kill zone anyway it's just it's just not gonna happen so they're gonna have to be on the edge which you know 
it is not really what I wanted, but you know what? I'm going to leave those in the back anyway. Oops, not those. I'm going to leave the wooden ones in the back anyway. Okay. So this first night's going to be pretty interesting because I, I don't know how this is going to work. This might actually be too high. You know, as a matter of fact, I can almost guarantee it's going to be too high. Let's lower it one block. Okay, I've closed up this passage right here. I've got this one. And this guy's a daytime guard. Um, I'll probably take him off. But I've got four nighttime guards so far. Um, that should be all we need, I guess. Um, I'm going to put the daytime guard up here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Guard, daytime slinger. And we'll put the daytime slinger. Mm, I kind of like him on the edge at the back. Um, I'll just put him right there for now, I guess. And we'll remove that. And we'll see how this works. Now, if they can kill things, I think it's going to be okay. But I don't really know for sure. We're going to have to kind of see. All right, there we go. So that's a nice little entrance there. And these can come all down. I think any higher than this, they're not going to have the angle to hurt the enemies. So, all right. Now we can start working on the tower some more. Although, maybe we should wait until nighttime before we work on the tower. Whoa, 44 food. What the hell? What the hell's going on? Oh, I don't have, um... Okay, I know what's going on. Alright, manage jobs. And we need the... Grinder's already there. We need the... Uh, baker? Yeah, baker. There we go. Now, I took the people off, um... Construction duty. Over here. I took them off that because I didn't want them coming out. Like, basically in the morning, I can't have them coming out here in the morning. They're going to get attacked. So, I took them off guard duty. Or, I took them off construction duty. I'll put them back on and um, have them finish it tomorrow. Uh, but I was more concerned with this than anything. And I am going to stand here and watch this as well. Or, at least stay in the area. So, there we go. And this will be three. So, this will be a floor. You, know, you can't build this stuff as majestic as I would like it to, unfortunately. But... That's just that's just the way it's it's gonna be, you know. Or maybe I can. We'll see. I'll, alter, I'll I will alter it if I have to. All right, so we're good there. Put that right there. That right there. We got some light. It's looking good. And we have our first tower set up. And I guess we can continue building this. The thing is, I gotta know where these guys are gonna be. Um. Manage jobs. I can't have people... Well, I guess I could have people coming out here. No, I don't want people coming out here. I really don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to put people back on mining. And I'm going to put down some... Uh, uh, so that... Oh, so we can't build this tower up here because he's not going to have an angle. Does it matter? Let's see. He's not going to have an angle now, but I want this tower to be built. So we'll see how he does without that angle. As a matter of fact, we should do the same thing on the other side. Because we got to test this. And we'll put some lights out here as well. And right there. And we'll have to see how this goes. Alright, got our first enemies coming in. Oh yeah, they got, they got the angle. They got the angle. That is very promising. That is very pro- They shot him like almost right away. So I think this might be- This might just work. Uh, I'm also trying to figure out how I want to do this. So I think I would put... Is a guy right here going to be able to shoot anybody? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like them better out here because I want them shooting along the way. The thing is, they're not going to have the angle to shoot from all the way over there. You know what I mean? Like, uh, let's put... No, not that. Let's put down a... A guard, nighttime slinger. Yeah, I mean, it'll look cool, but they're not going to have the angle. But these guys seem to be doing okay. Yeah, they're doing all right. So they can handle that from the inside. We know that for a fact. So let's manage jobs and take those people off miners. Let's get them out here and see if they can hit stuff from this angle. I'm going to do the same thing from over here. Uh, so we need this. And we need this. This. Now, no matter what we're doing, this is probably not going to be, like, completely efficient. But, like I said, there's a certain part of me that wants it to be, you know, cool as well. So, um, there we go. And, oh, no, 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 no. 
Okay. So do we have anybody up there? They're not coming up there. Can they not get up there? They're sleeping, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, no. They're going up there. All right. So are you guys cheating at anybody? I need to see. See, look. They, they don't have the angle here. They get the angle. So it's not completely crap. But yeah, they don't really have the angle. I think they're still okay. But they're, yeah, they're not going to be as efficient as I'd like, obviously. Um, I don't think we need to put anyone on the other side. We'll just leave it like this for now. And I just want to see how these guys how these guys deal. See, if they come from this side... You, oh, I know what we could do. A moat. That's what we're going to do. We'll dig out a moat we'll with some water in here. I've got water already over there. All I have to do is hook it up. And then that way... Um, the enemy won't be able to get right up against the wall. And if they're not up against the wall, they'll have to go out like around here. And if they go out around there, my guys are going to have the angle. See, they don't have the angle there. But they do have a decent angle. It's just not... Like I said, it's cool. It's just not as efficient. So, I'm, I'm just going to have to deal with that, I guess. It's, it's hard for me, but... Um, I like that cool factor, man. That like means a lot to me. Uh, Nighttime Slinger... There we go. Nighttime Slinger. Uh, we'll put a Nighttime Slinger over th on the other side as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and build that up. And Nighttime Slinger here. And then we'll just build up around him for now. This tower is not going to be built today. This On this side. But I just want to get a Nighttime Slinger up there. Okay. So we've got a couple Nighttime Slingers up there. And now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one and this one and then we are going to replace those with da, 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 nighttime bowmen oh wow they actually have more hit points just by being bowmen oh they have more range too interesting maybe i should put one in the um in the tower bowmen here okay and then why don't we put um you know why don't we make this a uh a slinger. I'm gonna put one in the tower and see how that works out. Um, guard, nighttime guard, bowman. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at what we got here. Manage jobs, nighttime slinger all the way up. Construction worker. Um, yeah, we can put that up for now. Um, nighttime bowman. Uh, we have two nighttime bowmen, four slingers. All right. So we have um, we have slinger, slinger. Slinger, Slinger, Bowman, Bowman. Hopefully that will be pretty... It looks like it's getting dark already. Yeah, it is. Yeah, whatever. They can, they can do whatever they can do out there. It's fine. Uh, what else do I want to mess around with here? Fisherman? Nah. Taylor, Scientist. Let's do the Scientist. See if he can do his thing now. I'm going to go actually... Well, I don't have to go over there. Take a look at the Science. Okay, so I still don't have these items or he didn't put them in. There we go. Beautiful. Complete. Okay, so we can now make a some kind of technician bench or something. I don't know where exactly that's made. Oh no, I didn't make any, I didn't make any ammo. I didn't have them make any ammo. All right, that's fine. That's fine. By the way, we have a lot of arrows. All right, thank God I can make this myself easily. And we went through a lot of these. We went through like two hundred last horde night. So we're gonna make. About 461. We can always make more as we go. Alright. Let's see how this is going to work. I think we might have a nice setup here. We'll see. Nice bird's eye view. Alright. Oh boy. That's not good. Uh, why aren't they shooting at them? Oh, because those are my guys. Dude, that scared the ever sorry, I hit the mic. That scared the ever loving crap out of me. First of all, they were moving fast. Second of all, they had red shirts. I was like, oh my god, this is some new demon spawn. Oh my guys aren't shooting at them. Well, yeah, they're not shooting at them because they're not stupid, Gage. Um, you know what? I should probably use some arrows myself. There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm I'm a little nervous. We got four more people, which is gonna make this horde quite a bit more difficult. So I'm just kind of curious on when these bowmen are going to shoot. I'm curious on the angles I have. 
You know what I would like? I would like, um, I forget what they're called. They're called the arrow wall pieces. I forget what they're called. Seven Days of Die has them. And they kind of are on an angle, so the person shooting out of them has a wider range of, you know, the angle they can shoot at. I would like some of those in this game, please. Okay. I mean, if this works, it's going to look good. So that's awesome. And then I can even put some towers on the corners or, you know, what, whatever. See the, uh, see the, uh, yeah, the moat's really going to help on this, by the way, because when the guy's out there, he's much easier for these guys to shoot at. This is a slinger, by the way. So I think we're probably going to be okay tonight. Jeez, I just jinxed myself. All right, they seem to be handling it. They seem to be handling it so well, I could probably take two of those slinger guards off duty, honestly. But let's see. Because we could... Look at that, there's four right there coming in. But, I mean, if I give everyone bows, and if I can keep up with the... See, the thing is, i got to be able to keep up with the, with the arrows. But if I can give everyone bows, I could definitely take off two slingers. I think I have two bowmen. I think four bowmen will probably be enough to handle this night. I, I also have two daytime uh, archery guys. Um, I think you are, I think they need to change the AI so the nighttime guards will stay on until every single zombie has been dispatched. Because I, I don't really like having to have daytime guards when I don't have daytime enemies coming in. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. But, yeah, I, I think uh, I do have two daytime. Yeah, so there they are. And they're both archers. So they will be able to handle everything. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. I think get rid of at least one slinger, probably two. And then give the rest of the guys bows. And I think we'll be good to go. And if you guys know of a way to deal with the, the like the remnants of what's happening is uh, the nighttime guards leave, but the zombies are not done coming in. If you guys have any way I could deal with that, like that would be great because I really hate having it as daytime guards. It drives me nuts. I guess I could take them off and just put them on every day, but you know that's like some micromanagement I just don't want to be dealing with. All right, we got through the night without any issue, um, but the problem right now I'm having is... I went ahead and ran out of firewood. Not only did I run out of firewood, basically you have to take unprocessed wood and you have to turn it into planks and then you have to turn that into firewood. And I didn't do any of it, which means I can't make food right now. Um, so what we're doing at the moment is I'm going to set up a tree farm. Um, I could ch I could chop the trees down out there, but I got to be honest, I like the idea of like having a spooky forest right outside my base. I think it's pretty, pretty freaking cool. So we can go ahead and make a forester here. Uh, I don't, I guess I could just do it from here. Uh, there we go. And, yeah. Alright, that'll work. Alright, so now we're going to need someone on the forester. Now, what am I going to take off? I can't take off flax, can't take off beekeeper. Um, I could probably take off craft. No, I can't take off crafter. The reason I ran out of fire was because I took the person off crafter. Can't take off grinder, really shouldn't take off chicken farm. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I really don't want to get more people now either, just yet. Uh, Night Slinger Guard, you know what, I'm going to turn those down to two. Actually, you know what, take the Night Slinger Guards away. Alright, uh, we got to do this quickly. Remove, remove, remove. Alright, so we got two archers, no, we got one archer, one daytime archer, one nighttime archer. So I need to um, guard, nighttime bowman, nighttime bowman. All right, so we got a bowman on that side, a bowman on this side. Take this off, bowman right there. We've got four bowmen. All right, here they come. They are coming in. Put some, there we go. Put some of these up here. Looking good. Looking good. All right, so we, we have 25 colonists. Four bowmen. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. I, I don't feel comfortable with it, but I think we uh, should probably be okay. I'm here to help, so um, I, if I have to help, though, that's a bit of a problem. I also have two daytime guardsmen, which <laughs> just kills me that I need two, two daytime guardsmen. All right, so he's down. Cool. And let's go on the other side because we can get up on the other side. Bring up my bow. Okay, and let's see how the angle is. Like I said, angles are going to be the problem. 
moats will help. You see this guy, how he's hugging the wall? That's where the angle is the issue. That's why we need moats. Okay, as a matter of fact... Damn, I just hurt myself. Cover me! Oh, they will go down there because it's it's not deep enough. Okay, fair enough. Probably shouldn't be trying to dig moats in the middle of, in the middle of a horde anyway. Now, we have to keep these arrows stocked. That's going to be another problem. This thing is really important, so is this. Let's see if we have any extra barley. See, all the barley's gone. But we do have 500 feathers, so that's pretty good. Um, but we do need that barley to keep coming in. That barley will be picked today, so that's good. Um, I really want a bigger barley farm. Tomorrow, next video, I'm going to expand this wall out that way, and I'm going to make a giant barley farm over there. Okay. Looking good. All right, so far so good. Um, what do I want my floor to be back here? Do I want it all to be wood? I don't think I do. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, do some work here while our defenders are defending us. Okay. I really want some more building materials to build with. I, I might actually have some. I gotta, I gotta look into it, honestly. Um, I really have to figure out how to get clay. That's the main thing. I know you guys have probably told me how to get clay by now, but I haven't read the comments yet, so... Um, Let's make a technologist table. I'm going to put that down right here just so I can like look at it. Basic science bag. Okay. So I don't know what I need a science bag for. I'm guessing I'm going to need it for technology at some point. Right? But I haven't seen any technology that needs science bags. Copper. Oh, there we go. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm going to have to Google how to get um, clay because I just don't know. And I really want to know. These archers are doing work, though, guys. Honestly, they might be able to hold it with just two archers. I can't believe how powerful archers are. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Right, we need that moat. We need the moat really badly. Look at them all dying at the freaking entrance. See? They're just hugging the wall. That's not going to... That's not going to work. I think what I'm going to do is, for the time being, I'm going to move the other two bowmen back. Um, let's see. Nighttime Bogart. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll put one there and there. And then I'm just going to pick these guys up. Because without the moat, they're just... I don't think they're hitting enough. Oops. Don't shoot me. I'd argue I might only need two bowmen, really. But... I don't feel that comfortable yet. I mean, look at these guys, man. They're just freaking... As soon as they step around that corner, they just get decimated. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. Why are my other bowmen coming out here? I guess we really don't need them. Maybe they're just going to bed. Well, we got the daytime bowmen out here, too. All right, cool. Yeah, no problem, man. We just need to keep the arrows flowing. And we need to get that... Um, We need to get... You know what? Why don't you just make a, as many arrows as you possibly can? Like, a thousand arrows. Yes. Yeah, so, um, uh, we got people standing here. Oh, they're getting food. Okay. Fair enough. We do have one job not for not fulfilled. Nighttime Bogard. Uh, why does it say two? Uh, there we go, one. So we do need our fourth Nighttime Bogard. So where am I going to get that person from? You know what? I think I'm going to worry about that next video. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you haven't joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.